surprise, surprise, I have another thrift with me video this week. I'm bringing you guys along with me on my first day back in probably four or five days, which is almost unheard of for me. I just had a lot of work to get through, so I wanted to make sure I got all that done before I went back out. But I feel like this is always like such a refreshing time to go back to the thrift. Like if you take multiple days off and then you just, you don't know what you're gonna walk into. But if you're going to the same place like day in and day out, you always kind of know what to expect. So I'm pretty pumped for today, but I especially wanted to make sure I focus on coats. Why? Because we're kind of like at the dead center of winter season and it's gonna start winding down, but I feel like, okay, here's my take on winter coats. I live vicariously through the fact that people buy winter coats from me, but I don't actually get to enjoy winter coats. I've always lived in a climate where I just, I can't fully enjoy them. Thought I would give you guys my hot take on winter jackets, winter styling, all that good stuff, but, First, we're gonna head out and see what we can find. So, let's get started. This is also the first day that I'm wearing these boots out, so I'm kinda nervous they're gonna hurt by the end of the day, but we'll see. Okay, let's do this. Okay, buckle up you guys, we got a lot of ground to cover. Today I wanna to talk about not only what I picked up thrifting, but also just winter coats in general. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I live vicariously through the ability to sell stuff on the internet as far as coats go, but I do have a small but mighty collection for myself. So I did wanna share my small coat collection with you guys. I also wanna talk about the projected trends for winter this season going into next season as well. So let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> the one jacket trend that I thrift so much that I never actually get to truly enjoy myself is definitely the duster jacket. I have talked about this numerous times on my channel in the past, but duster coats in general, like that maxi midi length just gets me every time I fall in love with them. And I'm not gonna lie, they're probably one of the most purchased items in my store. Maybe it's because that's actually what I thrift all the time, but I honestly think like in coastal cities like New York, it just is always a winner. These are always heavily styled in street style photographs. You see this a lot during like Paris Fashion Week, all those things. Duster coats are just the way to go. The movement on them, the way you can style them up, there's just so much you can do with them. One of my personal favorites from my collection is this BB Dakota. <sighs> It's kind of a mix between a puffer jacket and like a long line duster. It has very like military vibes to it. It's 100% silk and the BB Dakota tag is probably my favorite part because if you're a thrifter like myself, you probably find BB Dakota all the time and it's definitely been a watered down brand. They're actually carrying it in Kohl's now, I believe, but this is the original vintage version and man oh man, it is like true 1980s swing duster, all the things. Next up, I don't wanna talk about this one too much because trust me, I have mentioned this in I think going on, this will be the fourth video that I talk about this jacket in. 
And it's the Zara long line duster jacket. Uh, it's, yeah, just everything about it. I mean, I've styled it up numerous times, but it is definitely a staple in my collection and yet another item that I'm like, someday I'll live in a city where I can truly enjoy that jacket. <laughs> and then next up, this was actually a pretty recent find. This is another wool swing duster. I absolutely love finding these in either wool or camel. These are pretty readily available at the thrift stores. I think you can easily find them. The trick though is finding like the perfect one that fits you the way that you're looking for. Sometimes it's smart to get these types of jackets tailored, but I always recommend making sure that like the shoulder line is sitting right on target. Like you want it to kind of sit like right on the cuff of your shoulder. That's always the best way to gauge style and uh, just overall fit. Okay, a long, long time ago uh, when I was photographing just strictly vintage and selling that for a living, I actually used to incorporate this trend a lot in my styling photographs, and that is the dress as a duster. I would always use that as like a key selling thing, and it was kind of fun recently watching the latest installment of Sex in the City, and just like that, I noticed Carrie Bradshaw was actually doing that exact trend, and it was a lot of fun to see that like kind of coming back around. I have this something navy dress, uh, this is a long line duster dress and it's meant to be kind of like a wrap style fit, but I thought this was a perfect representation of that styling. I absolutely love the idea of being able to use a dress not only for its like true form, but also just like the prints on dress. You know, it just gives you that like unique element. It's a very like artsy vibe to it. Okay, next up is the blazer jacket. Uh, I have quite a few of these in my collection. This was a recent find. And again, another tip that I can always give is just make sure that the shoulders aren't slouching over. That's always gonna give a more polished look. I mean, of course, I think the biggest trend going on right now is the oversized like dad blazer and that's never gonna fit like truly to size. So don't weigh too heavily on that <laughs> advice. But I think if you are looking for something that's complimentary and flattering to your style, then definitely make sure that the shoulders hit like just right. And if they don't, then you're clearly going for that like oversized dad style vibes. Next up is bolero jackets. Most of these were pretty big in the 80s. Uh, I couldn't say that this is like truly in style right now, but I still think they're a lot of fun to style up. Uh, if you wanna try your hand at bolero jackets, I definitely recommend high-waisted jeans. This specific bolero jacket uh, was another one that I found just recently, and it is by the brand Perry Ellis. Uh, this is like a, I would say like 1970s, 1980s, probably early 80s Perry Ellis. Very like work wear, put together other casual vibes. One of my favorite things about this outfit though is I actually like way way back in the day I thrifted some burnt orange trouser pants that very much reminded me of a Chloe campaign that was going on at the time and if you've been following me long enough you know how obsessed I am with Chloe and it was just a lot of fun. I actually sold these pants like ages ago so it was a lot of fun to find almost the exact style. Like part of me looked at them and I was like are these the same pants? Are these the same exact pants? Cause they actually could be. Next up is the statement jacket. This is actually supposed to be a really big trend this year in 2022. And I think you see them the most heavily featured on quilted coats. Okay, let's talk 2022 trends. Now, as far as like jackets go, I know for sure leather jackets are still continuing to be such a major hit. Like it's crazy to me that this has been an ongoing trend, probably the last like three winters. I can't remember where I heard this joke, but someone said that if you stand in line at a New York club and you look at all the girls in line, pretty much everybody has the same leather jacket on. And it's kind of true. It's that like buttery soft black leather jacket with like three buttons on the front. It's that classic, like every it girl has it right now. You see it all over the place on Instagram. It's definitely a major trend. And the best part is it's based off of like a nineties jacket that pretty much every person had in their closet. So. I think it's another one of those trends that if you hit the thrift store, it's so readily available. Another big trend is gonna be the Penny Lane coats. This one, not gonna be as easy to find at the thrift store. Honestly, a lot of these are in pretty bad condition, so be prepared if you're willing to put in the time and effort to get these like revived back to life, you might be able to do it 
but they're gonna be very few and far between. And if you do find a Penny Lane coat at this point in time, most of the time they're gonna be from the 90s, so they're like kind of a reproduction style. But if you can find a true like 1970s Penny Lane style jacket, oh man, that's a good one. Talked about this in videos past, so it's definitely something I've referenced time and time again. But I think right now, and I know I keep talking about this brand, but like House of Sunny is so heavily pushing this in their style catalog that I truly think it's gonna be something that we're gonna be seeing a lot of going forward. Okay, and the last piece is puffer jackets. I mean, puffer jackets are still everywhere, but I think we're even starting to see them kind of turn into the puffer vest and the puffer jacket. And for a while they were getting like bigger and bigger and bigger. And there was that Kendall Jenner meme that was going around everywhere. But I think they are starting to chill out a little bit as far as like size and puffiness. And you're seeing like a lot more of the cropped versions. But I think overall puffer jackets are definitely still here to stay. And like I said, puffer vests, those are starting to be everywhere at this point. So if you're out of the thrift and you see a good puffer vest, be sure to pick it up because I think they're gonna be a huge style trend going forward. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for letting me take you on a tour of my winter jackets and a quick little thrift with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill and I will see you guys next time. Bye.